What's going on guys, it's Jake here and today we are going to add USB-C and wireless charging to the Game Boy Macro. Originally this was recorded as kind of a laid back tutorial, but it was very laid back and after looking through the footage it was hardly a tutorial. So here I am at my desk just re-recording the audio. If you're thinking, oh it couldn't have been that bad, uh, this is one of the actual things I said while recording. There's the wireless charging coil. Everybody say hi. Yeah, let's just move on. But thankfully, this is a pretty easy tutorial, as long as you can solder and cut plastic. I'll have everything I use down in the description, and they are affiliate links, so if you buy from those links, I get a tiny commission from Amazon. Okay, time for the tutorial. So step one is really just disassembling your macro. This won't really work if you're using a DS Lite, unless you don't care about being able to store your stylus. If you just want to add wireless charging, I have another tutorial on that that I will link down below. I recommend you watch that instead because the main focus of this is USB-C. If you want both USB-C and wireless charging, stay here. If you need a tutorial on how to make your DS Lite a macro, I will link that down below as well. Watch that, then come back here. Okay, now that we have everything straightened out and it's disassembled, remove the stylus holder. If you have your coil already in from the last tutorial, I'd remove that now because you most likely have to readjust it. Now you should just have an empty bottom shell. If you haven't already, you're gonna wanna flatten out the middle of the shell. You can use a Dremel, flush cutters, X-Acto knife, sandpaper, whatever you want. You just need it to be less bumpy for the charging coil. If you're wanting to keep the DS card slot, you're gonna wanna make this really flat. If not, go ahead and take it out. You can actually leave in the original charge port if you want, but I have mine ripped out as well. Next, line up the USB-C port to the stylus hole and see how big you need to make the hole. Then drill the hole. Congratulations, the first part is done. Now grab wire and solder one wire to the positive and one wire to the negative on the board. Then you're gonna wanna solder your wireless charging coil the same way. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Then take the first wires and solder those to the original charge port. If it's removed, it's gonna be in the same spot, just, well, Flat. Take the positive, add it to the 5 volt, and take the negative, and take that to the ground. Voila! The soldering is done. Hopefully, you made sure the wires are long enough. Yeah, I didn't say exactly how long you need the wires to be, but I did measure it out. Always just make it a little longer than you think you need it, and you can always cut it down later. Uh, plus, you should just always watch tutorials all the way through before you attempt the mod. Next, grab some glue and glue that port down. I put some super glue around the stylus hole, then I stuck the port in the hole I drilled before setting it in the glue. Do not put glue on the port. It can seep through to the pins on the port and you'll ruin it. I may have done that, but let's just move on. Once it's all dry, tape your coil to the middle where you flattened it. If you kept the DS slot, make sure you use that black rectangle that comes with the charging coil. If you bought the one that I linked in the description, then it should come with one. That kind of just separates the two metals and you really do need that because uh, it'll stop the charging if it notices that it's heating up other metals. It's very smart. Then just put it all back together. I recommend testing it once before you like actually screw everything together, but just smush it in, put the battery in, set it on the charging coil, plug the USB-C in. If you notice the charge light come on on your DS, then you got it. All right, so it's all put back together. Not the best quality. Uh, could definitely be better with <laughs> that. I could have filled that hole and not scraped everywhere when I was drilling the hole, but hey, it happens sometimes. But does it work? I don't know. Let's see. Even though I already tested it before. Voila, charge light right there. USB-C right here. Plug it in the side. There it is. Boom. Charge light. We did it. Ooh. I don't know why I'm so unenthusiastic about it. Uh, I don't know what else to say here. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'm working on a couple different things that I'm adding rechargeable batteries, USB-C, and even wireless charging to other Game Boys that aren't just, you know, the DS Lite. <laughs> Got a nap. That's it for now. So I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. There's the wireless charging coil. Everybody say hi.